Hi, I'm Ramona and welcome to Ramona Interviews. And with me in the chair today is Mary Bennett. Now she is the director of UMass's Men and Women's Anger Management Program. It's a great program. It's so needed. And then we're gonna kind of round it out and talk a little bit about nonviolence, which, you know, it's such a great coin uh, when you think about it, one side or the other. They're not opposites, they work hand in hand with each other. Do I have that right, Mary? Well, yes, because essentially what I am doing is teaching nonviolence. And this sort of uh, takes the mystery out of it because it really is about teaching people skills and teaching people what to do so that they can act without verbal and physical aggression. Yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. and also act instead of react. Right, that's a very important part of it. In fact, that's the first half of the program that we're talking about how to be less reactive. And that also plays into, for kids with bullying as well, is not reacting, but acting. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is a great topic because mm -hmm. it covers so many things, mm -hmm. uh, all ages, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, male and female, all relationships. Could be a business relationship, personal relationship, uh, parent-child relationship, a child chi child parent relationship. Right, right. You know, in multi-generational um, homes. So, could you tell us a little bit about your journey to director of the Men and Women's uh, Anger Management Program at UMass? How did oh, you? Well, my interest in, in nonviolence is longstanding. I came to it um, with an interest in inequality in general, mm -hmm. uh, my own issues, my own experience with. Um, sexism and uh, concerns about racism. Uh, that brought me to Assumption College. I was a religious studies and psychology major. I actually um, uh, focused on feminist theology, uh, looking at uh, um, that angle, uh, the, uh, the religious um, the religion that I was brought up in, mm -hmm. and looking at, well, how come there's such a um, seemingly male bias? And that was intensely interesting, but also informed my understanding about how, and came to really realize that inequality is, really has a lot to do with and intolerance and uh, seeing the other person as, as different uh, and uh, if we're really not seeing each other as, uh, if there isn't a connection, there's going to be harm. Right. And uh, um, and then from there, I went to uh, uh, Boston University School of Social Work um, and got my MSW in uh, social work. And I worked with uh, people with chronic mental illness at Worcester State Hospital. And that experience, I uh, went on into UMass and a chronic and, and acute, mm -hmm. I, I moved from the chronic to the acute um, psychiatric setting. And I always had my hand in, in outpatient treatment. I was doing anger management groups. And the more I did it, the more I loved it. And I ended up um, being the director for the last three years of the program mm -hmm. at, uh, at UMass. At UMass. Lots of an apology is something that we teach something that we go over. You know, over. that's really hard for some people to do. I'm oh, still amazed it is, today. Yeah. They'll say every other word, but I'm sorry. Oh, it's not just saying I'm sorry, because what you're talking about, Ramona, is making up a repair. Because every single time we do something, it, it does, it damages that connection. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be less inclined to trust that person. Mm -hmm. And so to be able to really uh, recognize and say we're sorry is really essential. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. And then try to look back at the behavior and say, mm -hmm. okay, am I going to repeat that pattern? I have a big thing about calling it patterns because mm -hmm. there are certain things I notice that I do. Well, it and is. I have to be aware and I have right. to say, okay, that pattern's coming around again. Right, right. Okay, what am I going to, you know, how right. am I going to address that? Well, a real apology is I'm not going to do it again. So, an apo so a real apology is, or a complete apology, is not only what you verbally say, but mm -hmm. it's your actions. It's six steps. I mean, there's it's many steps. Oh, there are, there are many steps. steps. Well, I'm, am I going to remember every single one? But, the, uh, but you know, it certainly begins with acknowledging that you did harm, mm -hmm. and that, that it really harmed this other person, this real acknowledgement of what you did, yeah. that you're really willing to make amends. Mm -hmm. What is it that I need to do? Yeah. Perhaps you need to ask that person uh, to sure. give them some kind of a, an explanation yeah. Uh, maybe sometimes that doesn't make sense, and it certainly can't be an excuse for bad behavior. Mm -hmm. But that's part of the elements of an apology, yeah. and this that this real 
depending on, on what it is, cheating or something like that, mm -hmm. certainly to mm -hmm. be able to say, and I'm not going to do this again. Right. And to what what can I do to make this right? Yeah. And so uh, we're talking about this is taking the harm that we do mm -hmm. to somebody else yeah. seriously. Yeah. And we want the same. Yes, that's true. You know, so to be able to give an apology, you know, we also want to be able to receive, to know what an apology sounds like. And this is a revelation. Well, you mean just saying, uh, I, I'm sorry and giving her some flowers or, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I get him something or, or just say I'm sorry and, you know, we make love and that's it. Yeah. Well, sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, but it depends on what it is. Yeah, what the whole situation That's is. That's right, right, yeah. right. So uh, relationships are work. Relationships are work. And what's a healthy relationship? What isn't a healthy relationship? So that would also be part of the course, that evaluating. That is part of what we look at. Sure. You know, uh, what do you need in this relationship? Okay. You have to know that. You know, everybody Make a list. Right. <laughs> like your right. bucket list, except right. that you're not going to die. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, what do you need? That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. And it, We do make a list together. Together. Yeah, I mean, everybody's ideas are up there. Yeah. And then some people look and they say, huh, I want that too. You know. Yeah. Right. That's a good thing. Uh-huh. That's mm -hmm. a good thing to right. be able to evaluate mm -hmm. what's important mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I would assume that, is it, does it also have a reflective quality? In other words, what you need is also what you're able to give? Back. Oh yeah. Well, uh, part of what we're uh, part of what we're doing is in because um, um, in all aspects of this, people become aware of their own feelings. They become aware of their own thoughts. They become aware of their own needs, mm -hmm. and they start having empathy for themselves. Right. Is the ideal, and in turn, to have empathy for that other person. Right. This is where the nonviolent communication part comes in. Mm -hmm. But, but yet to really learn how to be really assertive, you know, to recognize that this other person is really different than me. That's one of the first things we do in the program. Yeah. And that's okay. Really emphasize that. That's oh, okay, because it, it, it's, it's a great a, learning experience. Everybody's when, different. Yeah. Conflict is inevitable. Yeah, it's that's true. It's not something that is, <laughs> you know, you're not yeah. going to run into every single day. Yeah. There's going to be some kind of negotiation, yeah. you know, large and small, mm -hmm. and how do we do that? And, uh, you know, women tend to do things in certain ways, so maybe may ha have more of a tendency to want to be liked, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, um, do you, uh, we, we go over um, communication styles, passive, passive aggressive, assertive, mm -hmm. and just plain old aggressive, yeah. you know, I want everybody to, to be assertive. And right. assertiveness is using nonviolent communication skills. Yeah, standing yeah. up for your boundaries, knowing your own your own boundaries, and being able to communicate that in a way that is loving and mm -hmm. compassionate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, not aggressive. Mm -hmm. As you can get your message across, that's that's a whole skill set mm -hmm. in itself. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. to be able to get a message across mm -hmm. in a way that's effective. And I usually find that it's short and sweet. Short and sweet is good, and you really it takes a lot of self-reflection too. Yeah, it does. That you need to know what it is that you're feeling. People need a feeling vocabulary, and they need to know what it is that they need. They need a needs vocabulary. What and they have to be very specific if you expect to get your needs met. What do I need this other person to do very specifically so that I can be happy? Okay. And so that your happiness is in your control when you're doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anger when we're experiencing anger, it's because there's an unmet need. need. There's yeah. something going on. And mm -hmm. how do I communicate this in a way, and this is where the skill comes in, mm -hmm. if I'm yelling and screaming, that other person tunes out. Yeah, they will, like listen. children, they're everyone not, does that. Right, it's a natural right. human. Right, so we talk about you know to being able to communicate in a way that that other person can hear us without making demands. If we're making a demand, mm -hmm. all bets are off. <laughs> Nobody wants to pay attention if we're making a demand. No, no, no. We'll yeah. get this, yeah. Because we do have a, a website that people can contact, yep. and that gives all of the information, including timeout uh, techniques and managing conflict safely techniques awesome. are on our website. Mm -hmm. And that's www.umassmemorial.org um, slash anger management. All right, there so you go. Uh, people can uh, reach us that way, and that talks about yeah. how to contact 
and get into the program. And get into the program. Right. You know. right. And are, is most programs 20 weeks? Or I ah. mean, it, it could be <laughs> something different. It kind of goes by what your needs there, are. There are many different kinds of anger management programs. Mm -hmm. Ours is 20. Uh, we're doing research on the men's side, doing research on the women's side. Uh, we think what we have is effective, and we hope to have the data and uh, to be talking about that. So you could do all can. women or all men or a combination? No, these, these groups are, we don't combine. Uh, okay, so it could be program a men's, pro program, men's program, 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 a right. women's program, and right. then you could do couples? We do have, we do have um, uh, on a limited basis, offer some couples anger management. Uh, to do more with this, and we'd like to thank you, Mass. It's a great program, and it is thank so you, needed. Thank you, Ramona, very so much. So needed, Mary. Thank you for uh, taking your passion and sharing it with the world. What a difference it makes. What a difference Thanks. it makes. Thank you. Yeah. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a wonderful week.